Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. I am just a random fangirl, you can call me Libby. And today we are going to be watching Hannibal Season 2 Episode number 5 and I am dying. I am dying. I am dying to see what's going to happen. <laughs> dying and probably possibly Beverly is also going to die so yeah 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 I, I don't have I, I don't have many good um, hopes for this episode in particular because of the way that it ended I I am just I am just so very sure that Beverly is going to die and you know like Will told her to be more careful but no 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 she had to <laughs> she had to break into the house and I I know that a lot of her of her just is like that you know she she seemed to be like a really straightforward no-nonsense kind of person which makes sense why she chose to did what she did but I have a feeling that she's going to die she's going to die there's just no other way around it because like if she doesn't die she has enough proof at least to convince the other people on the team because it would not be just Will saying that oh Hannibal is a serial killer no 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 it would then be Beverly and Will and then you can start thinking like well you know it's not one people it's two people and one of those people do not appear to be crazy quote unquote um so yeah that would be a lot more believable then the other way is that maybe for some reason he doesn't kill her and she's just like a prisoner or something but i don't think that hannibal could do that because he's usually really smart about his moves and about about everything that he does everything is really calculated even the things that he does in the spur of the moment like even those are really calculated and accounted for so well not accounted for but you know in his mind um so yeah yeah i i just cannot see beverly being alive after this episode um yeah i just think that she's dead she's going to die 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 <laughs> and it sucks because she was one of the people that maybe didn't like believe will but at the very least they were not like you know like 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 the other people at least beverly it's giving him, well, was giving him the benefit of the doubt and kind of helping him, you know. And now that ship has sailed. And then we have Chilton, who... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really sure if he's going to die as well because, you know, he kind of revealed a lot to Hannibal in the last episode. So I am kind of worried about that. But... I don't know two deaths in one episode i think that he's going to stick around a little bit more and then we have an almost dead with um jack's wife she tried to commit suicide well you know like yeah okay it was a suicide but with the whole non nonsense surrounding it with all the situation about you know the terminal illness and all of that yeah yeah it's a lot more nuanced than just 
suicide, you know. And then Hannibal flipped the coin and he was like, oh well, <laughs> I guess that I'll save her. And she's really not that happy about that choice. So I guess that now she will actually have to talk to Jack and have this really important conversation and just make him realize at least as best as she can that this is not an easy decision but it's hers and it sucks because she doesn't want to hurt him but she is also you know scared it's a scary situation and she's taking such a hard decision and it's not easy it, it it, it, it really isn't, but they need to talk, so I am hoping that at the very least they have a chance to talk it out, talk it through as a crew, and and yeah, that, that, that is my hope, that is the one good thing that I'm hoping maybe comes out of it, that her death is going to be at least something that he doesn't find out, like her original plan was so yeah but knowing jack i know that he'll probably be a little bit too freaked out about this incident and you know it just makes sense everything makes sense about how they are acting and their reasons to think the way that they do it just sucks because there is no easy choice in this situation there is no right or wrong choice it's just a sucky awful situation and you have to just deal with what you believe that it's the best option and it sucks because there is just not right no wrong there is just sucky decisions to be had what else what else happened and also uh we'll realize and we had a little flashback about hannibal you know injecting something into him or well well you know putting some kind of substance thing in the wheel and i don't think that we saw that earlier so that was really really interesting because even us as the audience as the all knowing audience were not aware of that i mean like it makes sense <laughs> after everything that he has done it makes sense why could he draw the line and he was basically well you know causing the seizures and you know that time blackouts and you know he was just a little bit more involved in those than what i originally thought i originally thought that yeah he was pushing will and he was making all of these scenarios to be the perfect shape and form for him to have a mental breakdown and uh you know the whole thing about the brain and not giving him the treatment that he needs and you know that that that, that was bad enough <laughs> that was bad enough as it was but no he was really more hands-on <laughs> in this <laughs> particular situation so you know what you, you 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 have to give it to hannibal he is nothing if not consistent and following through with his plans he's committed <laughs> so yeah um yeah 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 he was a lot more involved in you know the thing he was play watching it play out but yeah holy shit and the thing is that now with Beverly gone well it, it really depends a lot on how this Beverly situation is handled because yeah that would mean that at least on a theoretical level in a surface level uh will has no one in his in his um in his side but that's also not true because there are a lot of people that want to help him and that want to see him better they are just you know not looking at the things as they should but I'm not going to blame them because 
if I didn't know any better, I would be like, yeah, that is kind of a crazy theory. Maybe he's crazy. <laughs> Maybe he's trying to rationalize things. So yeah, it sounds really crazy to someone that's not been watching all of these events unfold. So yeah. My only concern is that Will is going to be more on his own than he has been. And he has been a lot on his own because even when there are a lot of people who care about him... They cannot do a lot for him in this particular situation. They think that they are doing it, but not really. So I, I have to guess that for the flash forward that we got on episode one with um, Jack and Hannibal, I'm going to assume that some at some point in this season, Jack is going to figure out what's going on with Will. And that is going to be great. For the first five minutes before he gets himself killed. So, yeah, I just... Will needs to catch a break. <laughs> he needs to catch a break. But he's doing such an amazing job. So, you know, I just... Yeah. 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 Yeah, we'll just have to deal with the blows as they come. And Hannibal. Hannibal is being... Hannibal, he's amazing, he's calculating, he is on his toes the entire time, he is one of the most amazing characters that I've had the pleasure of knowing. This actually makes me want to read the books, to watch the original movies, to watch everything I can think of of the character, because he is goddamn amazing. I love him, I adore him, he is... <sighs> he's so interesting as a character it's so amazing and entertaining and awful to watch him and his actions and plans unfold because and it's so nuanced because there are so many of the actions that he takes that you can really understand why he's taking them he's really logical about the things that he does and in the things that you don't find logic that are more <sighs> feeling based i want to say but not 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 exactly the word that i want to use but you know when it comes to will it's a lot more nuanced than the whole other things so he's so layered all of these characters are amazingly written and i am loathing that we are almost halfway the season uh, because that means that i have so little episodes before the season is over and then there's the third season and that's it i yeah i am not ready but that's fine we still have quite a while before the show is over and i mourn that the show is over so yeah i am also so sorry for for the um, time lapse between the last episode reaction and this reaction uh, yeah, there's just a lot going on, but I I will try to keep it as constant as I can. I am actually studying right now to enter bed school, and it's kicking my ass. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, I'll just have to deal. I'll I I have to. I, I'm terrible with deadlines. Um, maybe it's because I have ADHD and. Yeah, yeah, it's just a whole problem, but I hope that I can fix it and I can give you, at the very least, one episode each week. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is going to be a highlighted reaction. But if you want to catch the full-length, uncut, unedited reactions, I am going to leave you my Patreon account in the description box down below and feel free to check it out. We are a bunch of episodes ahead in there as well. And I think that's it. So without further ado, let's just jump into this reaction, shall we? Hannibal. You stitched him into the mural. Okay. Do you have an idea who that might be? I do. He consults me with cases. If I keep investigating the murders he's accused of. Good. It seems you have an admirer. You think someone sent me in here because they admire me? This killer. <laughs> this is a crime. Yeah. 
course, Freddie Lounge, you know, she will be assisting me today. Or assisting oh, okay. Are we going to see more of Freddie? Jack? No, there was some sort of emergency with his wife. It's Hannibal's the Ripper. What's he doing with oh, his trophies? Stay away from Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, she should have. <sighs> okay, another food sequence. I hate shellfish and anything that goes with seafood, but, you know, if he cooked it, I, I, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I would eat whatever this man cooked. <laughs> Ooh, and the and the juxtaposition of what Will is eating versus what Hannibal is having. Oh, I love that. But seriously, why is this oh, sorry, sorry. I need to concentrate. I need to fucking concentrate. <laughs> I need to concentrate because everything in this show is so fucking important. Everything. The, the everything that's shown and said it's important so you can understand it better. I I actually want to rewatch the first season just because I think that maybe there are some details that I missed the first time that I was watching it. But then Hannibal comes into the picture and I am distracted, you know, he's distracting. <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> but he's distracting. It's like, yeah, 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 okay, let, let me just go back. <laughs> because that was really, really great. I get why he feels like churches. that, but... As a philosopher, I have too many. Hmm. Isn't that true? It wasn't what I could do for Bella. It was what I couldn't do to you, Jack. Hmm. That is such a nice way of putting it. <sighs> You're a great friend, Em. Uh, this co I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm passing too much. But the conversations between these two just kills me because... They always killed me <laughs> because there are so many ways in which I think that Hannibal kind of believes what he's saying. Like, you know, like you can see it that way. You can say it that way. You can actually believe what he's saying at some level, you know, because that is the nuance of his character. There is so many layers, but I, I am just sitting here and I'm thinking, uh, let, 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 let's see if you still think that he's such a good friend when this season ends, because <laughs> I, yeah, poor Jack, he doesn't deserve any of this. And Hannibal, I could, wa I, I could listen to him talk about anything. He's so interesting. He's so well, well, well spoken. He's amazing. Sorry, sorry. It's just that I love the conversations between these two. Or... Send someone help. Jack. Oh, I think, yeah. She's one of yours. Yeah, it's Beverly. Oh, well, she tried to warn him. Oh, Jack, babe, I know that you think that you have to do this, but you have enough on your plate as it is. But how did she cut the lead that... What was happening here? I'm guessing that I had to do something with Hannibal, but... Oh my god, what is it going to be? Oh, babe... Oh my god! <laughs> oh, Beverly, girl. So much awful than I anticipated. Oh, honey, and again in this place. Oh, God. I mean, it's artful 
in a creepy, creepy way. He has lost so much. Oh, babe, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure that... Oh, they are actually going to take him to see her. Not only photos. Man. Desperate times. They are taking this really seriously. <sighs> she is good at what she does. I hate it, but... <laughs> I can't imagine the smell. Oh, Jack. <laughs> oh, babe. I can only imagine how they're feeling. That's just... You know... That he's willing to take the chance. I know that he has a gun, but it's a bigger chance with the suppositions, with, with the theories that he has. Even if he likes Will, even if he feels guilty. Yeah. Oh, you're not ready, honey. You're not ready to see it. And even if he tells him... Beverly made her connection to the Reverend. You have to make your own, Jack. Yeah, because you're not going to believe him otherwise. You have to see it. This has to be so frustrating. <sighs> but yeah, he has to do it on his own. Oh, hi, you. About what happened at the Uh, okay. Were placed inside her body after she was killed. I typed them against the Makes sense. and uh, they belong to the mural killer. James Gray. <sighs> so whoever killed James Gray and sewed him into his mural also murdered Beverly. And swapped out their kidneys. Right now the only thing we have to go on is we find her kidneys and we find her killer. Well, That is a really interesting way of seasoning. Then again, I've never made kidneys, so. And there goes. Oh, that smile. Is the devil, Mr. Grant? Hmm. Smoke. Never catch the river. You won't be caught. But 
you want to, you will have to kill him. Fair enough. Yeah, that makes sense. You and I are both proponents of an all. <laughs> You and I are both proponents of an orthodox treatment of the mind. Strategies others might not choose to understand. Hmm. Our brains devote more space to reading the details of faces than any other object. Dare I say, I've never seen yours before. <coughs> I'm Dr. Hannibal Lecter. I was Will Graham's psychiatrist. Well, he's not a very good advertisement for your abilities, Dr. Lecter. That remains to be seen. Oh. I bet you're a devil at the bridge table. Hmm. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. The pleasure is mine. But now I know your name, of course, I'm aware of you by reputation, and I see why Chilton both reveres you and resents you. Not building it up. Hmm. Well, you built up something, <laughs> Dr. <Dr. Lecter. laughs> Oof. Oh, hi, honey. Be careful. Did you really think I was above that sort of thing? He killed people in his <laughs> that name. smile. And he'd like to ask him why. You like a book, Mr. Graham? of my imagination. Yeah. I read your title crime interview. You're a very articulate man. I agreed with a lot of what you said. Uh -huh. You're right. People don't understand much about me. Or about you. But at least we understand each other. There's something we don't have. Huh. Or maybe we just evolved not to need it. We were hiding in the FBI. That's talent. <laughs> I if mean, they gotten sick, they never would have found you. You found a great place to hide. You spend time in a mental hospital <clears throat> and you pick up the drill. You could pass as an orderly, get a job doing it when you get out. Obviously, you realize Holy shit. records every word said in here. What do you think wired the mics? Huh? Or unwired the mics, as they currently are? You killed the bailiff during my trial. I thought it was on radio. I had read your file often enough. He used to be recreating your work. It was so specific. <coughs> Why did you want to talk to me? I need a favor. Hmm. I'm always happy to do a favor for a friend. Just say the word. I want you to kill Hannibal Lecter. Ha! Huh. What are you thinking on, Dave? so many things happening <sighs> there are so okay I can think of at least two options about why the favor was exactly that you know there are a lot of moving pieces into this so there are a couple of options why he chose ask that specific thing and of course now it is really clear uh, I think that it's really smart what he's been doing you know playing into the character into the situation until 
he gets an upper hand of sorts and hopefully doesn't get anyone else killed because of, you know, um, Beverly. But it is really, really interesting the way that he's playing his cards and oh, there are so many moving pieces. I mean, of course, there is this guy, there is the favor he asked, and there is that other guy. I'm sorry, I never remember his name, but well, you know, the false Chesapeake Reaper. It's really interesting. Okay. Good enough shot to get a bullet in you before you could have laid an egg. Uh. For that, I am sincerely grateful. <clears throat> Been wondering about that night. How do you know I know? The little birdie wanted me to kill you. Hmm. Well, little birdie wanted Mr. Graham to have reason to kill me. Either way, you and I equally expendable. You were trying to find the hmm. Ripper that night. Did you? I found Will Graham. Will isn't the Chesapeake Ripper. Not yet. Ha. Huh. Interesting set of words. All Not things. yet make us who we are <coughs> what has to happen to make those things change so much has happened to mr graham he is a changed man mm. that is true looking for redemption he's not looking for redemption but revenge yeah now that is a trinket he could value he thinks he knows who killed beverly cat the courtesy you have always shown me, I'm going to give you a gift. I'm going to give you a chance to save Will from himself. How? He is in a biblical place right now, but that rage will pass, and when it does, Will Graham will either be a murderer or he will not. Up to you. He's institutionalized. <laughs> He's really in no position to be killing anyone. Not with <sighs> his own hands. Now this is really interesting because I am wondering if it's part of, you know, what Will is taking into account that this guy heard all of that. Again, many moving pieces. Hmm. How did he get there? Well, this was really close. Judas had the decency to hang himself. In Holy shit. Betrayal. I thought you needed help. Did you know that the phrase kick the bucket came from exactly this situation? You could really? right now yourself. Holy shit. Be over quicker than bleeding out. You and I have the hospital. You're setting a new standard of care. <laughs> oh. Even eloquent in this situation, what honey. He's not a murderer. He is now. <laughs> By proxy. Mm -hmm. He asked you to do this. What are friends for? <laughs> now I'm going to ask you a few yes or no questions while you still have enough blood coursing through your brain to answer them. You ready? I can ask you yes or no questions. 
You don't have to say a word. I don't know what the answer is. The people huh. dilate with specific mental efforts. You dilate, that's a yes. No dilation equals no. Are you the Chesapeake River? Uh... How many times have you watched someone cling on to a life that's not really worth living? Eking out a few extra seconds. Wondering why they bother. Oh my god. I know why. Life is precious. Oh, they're going to arrive. Of course he's not going to die, but... Oh. It's just fascinating the situation he's in. You know, the Iroquois used to eat their enemies to take their strength. Huh. Maybe your murders will become my murders. Huh. I'll be the Chesapeake River now. Only if you eat me. Huh. Oh, honey. Put your hands where I can see them. Scotty Gun! Oh God. Oh. Oh God. Okay, okay, it's going to end. <sighs> Oof. Oof. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Holy shit. That is, wow, that was really, really interesting to see because generally speaking, and I, I think that that was exactly what I was talking about in in the intro introduction of the video, um, but Hannibal, it's practically always with the winning hand. He is collected, he is smart, he's quick on his feet, he has experience doing what he does, so it's not easy to... to, you know, found him with his guard down. And I think this is the first time that what happened was not really something that he um, thought it could happen. He was not prepared for this. And there was really not much that he could do in the situation. Like, if Jack hadn't gone there... I don't think that I, I I don't think that Hannibal could be alive right now. So that is really really interesting because he's someone who is basically always in control. Even in the situations that are not planned, he's almost always in control. And this is one of the first times that we've seen that control just kind of teensy tiny slipping away a little bit. And that is really, really interesting in general because, oof. Okay, and now, I was talking about earlier about um, the, I mean, like, of course, there are many possibilities, but the biggest two possibilities that I conjure up in my mind in that moment was that A, Will, of course, was planning... 
um, on using Freddy and his connections to get in touch with this person. And basically at the same time, he got, what was his name, Abel? Abel back in the facility to talk to him as well and to use it as, you know, kind of bait, but more like, you know, getting Chilton interested in the thing. And okay, so the first possibility was that he is planning ahead of this, but I am just kind of thinking about what he could get out of it. How, what, 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 who, what would he get out of, and I'm trying to think ahead because <laughs> Uh, these characters are really smart, so... Okay, so maybe it's something that um, he's thinking ahead and he's like, okay, yeah, so I'm going to, to contact this guy and it just so happened that it's in, he is in this facility and, and I'm going to conveniently ask him to kill Hannibal but without the intention of actually killing him I, I'm not really sure what the intentions were and let this guy overhear my conversation and you know all of the things that follow that follow the situation that was happening and that Hannibal was in and then Dr. Bloom and Jack just finding him in that situation but I cannot think about why he would want to do that like if anything it puts him in a worse position sorry i i had to do something anyway uh okay so yeah i just can't think of enough reasons for him to want to do that because if anything it puts him in a worse position than he was before like you know actually Telling someone that, you know, unless the whole purpose of this was to expose the other guy, but I, I have to assume that his priority right now is Hannibal, not the other guy. And yeah, also it's really interesting how they made a distinction of, you know, yeah, he is not a murderer at least not yet like not right now <laughs> that is a really great just comparison to make because yeah um being the purpose that it was of the two options of you know him actually wanting to kill hannibal and getting the chance to do so because he's so affected by everything that's happening and this is the last drop in the last straw or being an overall plan that you know has more layers to it uh well being the situation that it would be i, I don't know what the two option is what of one i don't know what option is the correct i i'm not really sure but i'm going to assume that either way um one this situation is just not going to make him look that great and two let's just say i'm not saying that that's what it is maybe it is there is a lot of um a lot of visual elements you know to back it up but if he actually wanted to kill hannibal even if it meant for him to do that that yeah his character is going to a lot of change to transformations because everything that's happening to him everything that has happened to him he's not the same person for better or for worse than he was at the beginning of the show um even with the first case of you know abigail and his father he was not the same person because it stuck with him but him uh, making that choice mm, that is really juicy and interesting about the character because he's changing and yeah I, I, I just think that this is a shitty situation because it's going to be worse for him but at the very least we had the guy <laughs> um
But yeah, all of the conversations in this show, they are so very interesting to me. There's always something happening, something relevant to the plot, to the characters, to their overall arc, to, to everything. So everything is happening and it's... Oh, it's just this show, it's just so amazing. And yeah, I pretty much knew that Beverly was going to die, but I still feel so bad for her because she was so close. But yeah, she was just not as careful as she should have been. She underestimated Hannibal or overestimated her abilities. I'm not really sure, but she's dead. She's gone. And that is really, really sad. But this episode was amazing. Yeah, it, it, it was amazing. <laughs> I already want to rewatch it. But anyway, uh, I'm sorry if the subtitles were a little bit off because, like, I I was actually watching the episodes on another platform because Amazon Prime in my country didn't have subtitles in English, they were only in Spanish, and, you know, these reaction videos are in English, so I don't think that anyone, or almost anyone, could be just happy with me putting subtitles in Spanish, so I was um, watching it in another place that had subtitles in English, but I just had so many problems with that platform, and then today I discovered that there were subtitles in English in Amazon Prime now, which amazing, <laughs> and I tried them on right now, but they were kind of weird. <sighs> They were not always right, so I just ignored the subtitles for most of the episode because they were just weird and they were not saying the stuff that was being said and yeah, yeah, they were not great, but yeah, we, we, we'll have to do with those because there are only um, subtitles, those subtitles in English that are like closed capture and they are not great. There are the ones in Spanish, and I think that there are ones in Portuguese. That's the three options that I have. So, yeah. But this episode was really, really amazing. I loved it in so many levels. I was not expecting that guy, that random nurse guy, that I think that we've seen a few times, and in this episode, we saw him, like, maybe two times before the actual reveal i was not expecting um you know him to be anyone important so i love when shows do that you know when they take background characters and you know you're thinking it and it's like yeah it makes sense <laughs> when you have a little bit of foresight about what's happening but yeah i i really like that plot twist and the fact that Hannibal was just really vulnerable in this episode, um, I mean, like, I was not worried about him dying because there is a third season and, you know, he, he he's Hannibal and the show is Hannibal, so he was not going to die. If anything, maybe he's going to die in the third season. I would be really worried about that, but right now it's the second season. Yeah, no, he was going to be fine-ish. At the very least, as good as he can be. Um, but yeah, I just think that this situation is going to get even worse for Will. And just in general, Hannibal is going to be better positioned, at least in, you know, Jack's eyes, because he was just getting murdered and actually i think that beverly was taking some pictures right uh, and they were talking about something that was missing of hers i'm not really sure if they were talking about just you know the organs and body parts that were missing or if will was actually thinking about her probably having um a, a camera or something that she was having with the proofs, but I don't think that Hannibal has it because his kind of trophies are, you know, 
other kinds of trophies, not actual material possessions most of the time. So yeah, I don't think that they are going to get that evidence. But who knows? We are already in episode six, so maybe at the <laughs> maybe at the end of these um of these season maybe 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 we'll get Hannibal revealed but I don't think so because there is still a third season and I'm not really sure what a third season would be if all the people knew who Hannibal was so I am really excited to continue this story because it's always throwing me curb balls and it's always pulling plot twists and things that I had not seen coming and I love this show so much so if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to leave a like or a comment, anything you want would be highly appreciated. And if you want to know when I plan my reactions, I'm going to leave you my Patreon account in the description box down below and feel free to check it out. I guess that's it, so we'll be seeing each other on the next reaction. Bye!